Really, I joined for social purposes. My wife and I had our second daughter in the fall of 1969. In the room with my wife when she gave birth was a, a wife of an elk. My father-in-law said I had to become an elk before I could marry his daughter. I became an elk and two months later I married his daughter. Uh, to be honest with you, I had no clue what the elk was even about. All I know is a lodge I joined, owned a golf course, and I thought my mother and father-in-law would love to play there. I was one of those kids that joined when I was 21. My father was an elk. And my older brother was uh, going to be initiated in my father talked me into joining at the same time so he could watch both his sons be initiated. I decided that it might be good to start doing something within the town that we lived in, so that's why I joined there. Booyah! I'm Jim Kramer from the CNBC show Mad Money. I joined the Elks to be a part of our community. I have stayed with the Elks because the Elks is the essence of community, and I am proud to have contributed to all the great causes that the Elks support, both locally and nationally. We were young people at the time and we jumped in, got involved, and uh, we thought that the community was worth our uh, involvement. And I started thinking, boy, I really enjoy my life. And I started thinking that I need to do something more with all this happiness I have. I originally joined seriously just to make some new friends. I was new to the community at the time, and I sat up and making a few friends, and now we have hundreds of friends through the Elks. It was, it was the greatest move I've ever made. In order to be in any organization, you have got to be involved. If you want to be a part of your community, and of course we as Elks, we're out there in the community, so in order to be involved, you've got to participate in some of the activities, and I think a lot of time that's how you meet new people. I got involved in uh, youth activities right away, and I think it was a great decision to get involved. It, uh, it's been a, a terrific, opportunity to meet people all over, um, but I cherish those friendships that I've made over the years. If I were to break down as I drive around America, I can, within an hour of wherever I'm at, I know that I can call an elk that could come give me a hand. We still at this point have friends from their 20s through their 80s and into their 90s through the elks, and that gives you a really broad base of people to experience life with. Yeah, I've made friends from all walks of life. That's another great thing about the elks. We're really a melting pot. I mean, we, we have professional people, uh, blue collar workers. Uh, I mean, you just, you, you come across all, all walks of life and there's, there's so much you can learn. No degrees of membership. We're all on the same, all on the same plane. And that's a, that to me is a great, you know, a great thing. There's just so many great opportunities there and um, it's, it's, membership is what you make it. But I was a very timid and shy person until I became an elk and got active in all the programs. And it just opened up a new, a new life for me. The more you get involved, the more you'll get out of it. Get involved. Do something for your lodge, do something for your community. You'll be a better person for it, and your community will be as well. Well, let's find your passion. The Elks has so many great programs that one of those should be your niche. Whether it's cooking, you can volunteer for all kinds of youth programs, you know, there's, there's so many things out there that we have to offer that, but you got to have a passion for it. Find your passion, get involved. There's so much uh, opportunity to learn and grow and, and do, that, meet new friends, uh, uh, to touch the lives of the youth and the veterans and, and feel like you've made a difference in people's lives. And that's really what it's about. It's someone, I'm doing it for me. I feel so good when I'm helping these uh, veterans. There's always a committee out there that that's, needs assistance. We need young people, we need old people. We need anybody that's interested in making their community a better, safer place to be. Put on picnics, uh, scholarship, now we're into the dictionary program, uh, food uh, banks, uh, raising money for our children in the community, things like that. A child with ch special needs, it's uh, assisting a veteran who doesn't have any food. It's assisting at Christmas time a family that has no presence. It's to help others who need it more than us. Uh, we have our social activities, we have dances, uh, we prepare Christmas baskets, uh, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Veterans Day. There are so many great programs in the Elks that they can keep you busy for the rest of your life. I'll do it as long as I can and probably till they throw dirt on me. I'm the longest serving constitutional officer of the history of South Dakota. In life, you make 
time for things that you enjoy doing. You put that up towards the top when you start filling in your calendar and you're able to do what you want to do. And I want to be involved with the Elks organization. So. I make time. I, I tr fit it into my schedule. I work full time. You have to just kind of make time. <laughs> I mean, I work full time, but uh, I just make sure that I have enough time. You can pay your dues and you can go to meetings, but the true impact you're going to have is if you get out into the community and um, are the hands and feet of this organization. Reach out, put your hand out, shake somebody else's hand, and, uh, and, um, and let them know that you'd like to get involved. It just takes going there the one time and doing something and seeing the camaraderie and seeing what a great feeling you get out of helping others and watching their faces. You're with your friends, you get to know new people and the experience is well worth it. Um, it's really something you want to try. You want to give it a try and do it. Where this journey takes you, what you do will be entirely up to you. But whatever your interest, the opportunity will be there. Well, I, I'm fortunate. I guess I'm lucky in many ways. I never expected to become a national president. Never actually had it as a goal. I just did what I thought I could do as best I could. Things happened.